The Golden Child is an easy film to review. Eddie Murphy is a whole lot more entertaining than the film itself. In The Golden Child, Murphy plays a cop of sorts, a finder of lost children. But to his amazement, shortly after the film opens, he's asked by a beautiful woman to go to Tibet to find a magical child who has the power of bringing either peace or disaster to the world. At a temple, they seek a magical sword that can help free the child. We have come to ask for the sacred cross dagger of Ajanti. For what reason? For the golden child. Let him ask it. I said, I, 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 I want the knife. Back home in California, he confronts the film's bad guy who wants to use the dagger to turn the golden child into an evil creature. I could destroy you just like that. Well, we wouldn't want that. Listen, bring me the boy and I'll give you the knife. And then no one will have to be destroyed just like that. The villain may be dull, but Murphy is very funny when he simply jive talks with one of the film's many weird characters, in this case, a 300-year-old cigarette-smoking wise woman hidden behind a curtain. Do you have any other questions? As a matter of fact, I do. What are you doing this weekend because your silhouette is kicking? Now that's funny, and when he just talks, the golden child works with Murphy playing sort of Bill Murray's role in the Ghostbusters, always wisecracking. It's a very funny film in those moments. But the film also has four fight scenes with a hard rock score behind them in the first 40 minutes, and most of those scenes and the Tibetan special effects, they just don't work. So it's a movie with fits and starts. I just wish Eddie Murphy talked more and there were fewer special effects like in Ghostbusters. A mixed review from me. I liked it a whole lot more than you did, Gene, and I thought that he talked a lot. What do you mean talk more? He talks all the way through the movie and that's the glory of this movie. He's like Bob Hope in one of those old road adventures, wisecracking about him everything. Like. And it was really an entertaining movie. I think it's the only movie this Christmas time that's appropriate for the family, apart from the obligatory middle range four-letter words, not the real bad four-letter words. And I think Eddie Murphy this time really did seem to be at home in the material as he didn't in Beverly Hills Cop. I think he is at home when he, oddly enough, when he is at home. And I'm talking about the scenes in California in uh -huh. his home base. Uh -huh. Those are a whole lot better than all of the stuff in Tibet and all oh. of the special effects, all the fighting. If they would have just left this guy alone with this woman, which, who, have a, who has right. a great relationship, all that stuff, it would have been much more interesting. I, you mean he didn't like it when he followed the magic parakeet to Tibet, or the no. time when he's got no, the, the revolving pillar there in no. the temple, I'm and he's telling playing you that uh, it, it, disco the, music The movie it. broke in half for me. Every time he's back in the States, it's funny, and every time he's with Tibet, which means special effects, it didn't work. I think it's a real silly movie, and a real It is funny a silly movie, movie and right. funny when he is working at the right time. Well, luckily, he's on the screen in every shot, so that you weren't no, often disappointed. No, Well, let's say 90% of the time? I don't know. Mm, maybe 85. Okay, next movie. Going down. Mark down sale here. <laughs>